Hey everybody, Mr. Troy here. I have a quick video for you on multiplying binomials. Now, I know this is something that we've done before, but I wanted to give you the chance to do it again with a twist. So, these are what are called special products of binomials. Okay, when it comes to special products of binomials, they're going to be two that we think of. One that's called a difference of squares, and one that is called the perfect square of a binomial. Those are the only two things we have to master today. All right, here we go. A difference of squares is something like x plus 7 times x minus 7. The two numbers here are going to be opposites of each other. So we're going to have something like a plus 7 and a minus 7. When we multiply those together, there's going to be some canceling out. So let's FOIL. We're going to get x squared minus 7x plus 7x minus 49. When that combines, the negative 7x and the positive 7x are going to cancel out, and we're going to be left with x squared minus 49. Let's file that in the back of our head for a second. So when we go and we do the same thing to 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5, again, see the positive and the negative, we're going to get something similar but not exactly the same. 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared. 2x times negative 5 gives me minus 10x. And positive 5 times 2x gives me plus 10x. Positive 5 times negative 5 gives me negative 25. Again, we still have this canceling action here in the middle but we're left with 4x squared minus 25. For the last one, again, one positive, one negative. We FOIL. Our firsts give us 144x squared. Our outers give us minus 12x. Our inners give us plus 12x and our lasts give us minus 1. When we combine like terms, we get 144x squared minus 1. Okay, I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try and figure out in those three final answers what the special thing that's going on is. Okay, what I hope you notice is that every time you see a number, that 49, that 4, that 25, that 144, it is a perfect square. So the 49 came from the 7 times 7. The 4 came from the 2 times 2. That's why all of those are perfect squares. Remember that 1 is also a perfect square. That's 1 times 1. The reason you're going to use this is so that you can work backwards. So for example, if I ask you, where would x squared minus 100 have come from? You would say, well, to get 100, I would have to do x plus 10 times x minus 10. And you're figuring out by thinking that 10 squared equals 100. Similarly, x squared minus 64 would be x plus 8 times x minus 8. Now, the last one's a little bit harder because you have to think about the fact that 4 is 2 squared and 25 is 5 squared. So 4x squared minus 25 would be 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. 
once you have those, you'll be able to go backwards and forwards pretty easily. The last thing we want to look about is what are called perfect squares of binomials. So for example, what happens if I multiply something by itself? Now you know in general if I multiply 4 by itself, I would get 16. And if I multiply negative 4 by itself, I would also get 16. So that's how it works with for numbers. But how does it work for binomials? Well, let's see if we can find a pattern. Let's FOIL. When we FOIL, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16. So I see something interesting. I see x squared, sorry, x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, how does that relate to the 4? Well, I see a 16, so that makes sense, but what about the 8? I have a guess, but who knows for sure, so let's try another one. If I see it written with just a squared, remember that means x plus 8 times itself. And I do the foiling, and I get x squared plus 8x plus 8x plus 64, which is x squared plus 16x plus 64. Okay, stop, pause the video and think, does that pattern that we saw before, does that hold true? Here's the pattern that I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this number is the square of the number in the parentheses. And it looks like this number is two times the number in the parentheses. Let's see what happens when we multiply 3x plus 7 times 3x plus 7. Well, just like we did with the other one, we see 9x squared plus 21x plus 21x plus 49 or 9x squared plus 42x plus 49, hmm, the plot thickens. I see that 49 is 7 squared, and I see that 9 is 3 squared, but where do I go from there? All right, to really get the pattern down, let's actually multiply something that doesn't have any numbers in it. So in this case, we're going to multiply ax plus b times ax plus b. When we multiply ax times ax, we're going to get a squared x squared, because a times a is a squared, and x times x is x squared. Multiplying ax times b is going to give me a, b, x, because I'm just multiplying a times x times b, and I can write those in whatever order I want. Same thing here. b times a times x is the same thing as a, b, x. And b times b is b squared. When I add those together, something interesting happens. I get a squared x squared plus 2abx plus b squared. Now why 2? Well, because there's two copies of a times b times x. So here's what that means. If I had to multiply these together, I would say that a is 3 and b is 4. So a squared would be 9x squared plus 2 times a times b, so 2 times 3 times 4, that's 24x plus b squared, which is 16. 
this shortcut will really help you with special products of binomials. All right, have a good one. Try those Khan Academy exercises. Talk to you later.